Hi, welcome to Filled in Five, where we take five minutes to explore an aspect of the spiritual life. Today, we are looking at honoring your spiritual journey and deepening your faith. Each of us walks a unique spiritual path, one filled with moments of doubt, discovery, and renewal. Honoring your spiritual journey means recognizing that it is not a race, but a process of becoming, becoming more attuned to your inner self, to the divine, and to the world around you. The way we navigate this journey may differ, shaped by our upbringing, faith traditions, personal experiences, and the questions we ask along the way. But no matter the specifics, it is essential to approach our spirituality with respect, curiosity, and patience. First, honoring your spiritual journey requires self-compassion. Too often, we feel pressured to meet certain milestones, whether it's regular prayer, scripture reading, or even experiencing a profound sense of peace. However, the growth comes when we release ourselves from the need to perform or conform to others' expectations. Your journey is not meant to mirror someone else's. You may experience moments where faith feels distant, or you may wrestle with deep questions about life and meaning, or with grief from a loss. These times of struggle are not signs of failure, but rather opportunities for reflection and growth and potentially can lead to a deeper connection to your inner self, God, and others. Learning to accept where you are spiritually, even when it feels challenging, is a significant act of grace for yourself. Second, honoring your spiritual journey means embracing the practice of presence. In today's fast-paced world, it can be difficult to slow down and simply be present with yourself and with God. Yet presence is where transformation happens, It's the quiet moments, the stillness, where you can listen for that still, small voice within. These pauses offer a chance to connect deeply, to reflect on where you've been and where you are headed. In honoring your journey, allow yourself to cultivate spaces where you can be present, not just with God, but with your own spirit. This practice doesn't always require grand rituals. Sometimes it's as simple as taking a breath, and being mindful of the sacredness of the moment. Another important element in honoring your spiritual path is the willingness to evolve. Just as life changes, so too does our understanding of faith, of God, and our beliefs. The beliefs you held as a child may not fully resonate with the person you are today, and that's okay. Spirituality is dynamic, not static. As you encounter new experiences, perspectives, and challenges, Your understanding of the divine might shift. Honoring this evolution means giving yourself permission to grow, to seek new heights, to question old assumptions, and to ask deeper questions. This doesn't mean abandoning core truths necessarily, but rather allowing them to be deepened and expanded through the lens of your lived experiences. In addition, honoring your spiritual journey involves community. While the journey is deeply personal, it is also enriched by the connections we make with others. These communities of faith, whether in a formal church setting or among a circle of friends, offer encouragement, accountability, and shared wisdom. In community, we are reminded that we are not alone. Our struggles and our triumphs resonate with others who walk similar paths. By being vulnerable within a community, you allow others to speak life into your journey, and you do the same for them. Finally, honoring your spiritual journey involves gratitude. It's easy to focus on the struggles or uncertainties, but there is also much to be thankful for along the way. Take time to reflect on the moments where you have felt connected to something greater than yourself. Celebrate the small victories, the times you've shown love, acted with kindness, or found peace in the chaos. Gratitude grounds us and keeps us centered on what is good and true in our spiritual lives. In conclusion, to honor your spiritual journey is to embrace it fully, acknowledging both its highs and its lows, its certainties and its doubts. It's a path that requires patience, presence, evolution, community, and gratitude. As you walk this journey, remember that it is uniquely yours, shaped by the hand of the divine and guided by the quiet, persistent call to grow deeper in faith and understanding. Honor it well and trust that wherever on your path you are, you are right where you need to be. I'm Melissa Ebkin, the pastor of the Iliopolis and Nyanic Christian Churches. I have developed spiritual groups, I call them filled, to provide a space 
to engage and grow in your spiritual life. If you'd like to explore this topic, either individually or in a group, links to learn more and sign up are in the description. If you'd like to receive an email each Friday with inspiration for your journey, that link is in the description as well. Until next time, be well, be present, and be thankful. Bye for now.